Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we shall talk about some top link queries using Lambda expression in C Sharp. Before we dive into the exciting queries, let's take a moment to understand the core concept behind them. I mean Lambda expressions. So what are Lambda expressions? Lambda expressions are anonymous functions. They can contain expressions or statements. They are used to create delegates or expression tree types. In simple terms, they are anonymous function. I mean function that don't have a name. Lambda expressions are lightweight and concise, making them a perfect fit for writing functional style code in C sharp. Okay, here is the basic syntax of Lambda expression. It consists of parameters on the left side followed by the lambda operators and then the expression or block code on the right side. For example, uh, in this example, we see x, y, y and then lambda operator and then x plus y is a lambda expression that takes two parameters x and y and return their sum, right? Lambda expressions are commonly used in link queries to filter, sort and transform collections. Remember, the biggest advantage of lambda expression is their conciseness. They make your code easier to read and reduce the need for boilerplate code. Okay, that was the basic introduction of Lambda expression. Uh, now let's move on to the main part of the tutorial using Lambda expression in the top link queries. Let's get started. Okay, let's first create a project. I go to console. I call it Lambda expression. So click on create. Okay, we have created our project. Now I will share 15 essential link queries you must know to crack your c shop interviews for each query i shall explain the logic and show the real world example so let's start coding okay our first query is how do you filter data using link so let's first declare an array okay i have this array now i want to filter even numbers from this array so for filtering in link we use where methods i keep even number in this variable and i print it so let's run this code even number have been printed. Let's move to the next query. This query is how do you find the first element in a collection? You can find first element in a collection using first or first or default. First or default prevents runtime exception by returning a default value if the collection is empty. For example, we declare an array, array of string like this. Okay, I get the first fruit roots dot first. I print it. Okay first fruit is apple but this first method will throw exception if your list is empty better approach is to use first or default for example let's we use first or default i take an empty list and see it throws exception or not so uh, if my first is null it will print none instead of throwing exception so let's run it okay the first fruit in the empty list is none okay let's move to the next query okay in this query how do you find the maximum and minimum value in a collection let's declare an array i take a variable max grade i say grades dot max and min grade grades dot min and let's print both of these values okay uh, i run it okay the highest grade is 92 and lowest grade is 78 okay let's move to the next query okay in this query we will see how you group data using link for this query we need a product class so let's add a product class in our project name it product okay we added product class let's create a sample list of some products we need to write link query to group products by category and sort each group by price i write query like this group products product group by i say price by group by category and i say dot select okay we have group product so let's print these products first we iterate through the each group in the group product and then i'm iterating through the products in each group so let's run it here we see two groups based upon the category and sort each group by price. For example, for electronics, you see price of both products of electronics, laptop and smartphone. And then for the next group, for category furniture, we see the price for product chair. Okay, let's see the next query. Okay, now we see how can we sort data in ascending or descending order. Okay, first we create a sample list of employers. Now sorting can be done with order by or order by descending. For example, I take for a sorted employees employees dot now if you want to start employee in ascending order we can use order by right but if you want to start employee in descending order we can use order by descending like this 
for example i want to start employee in descending order by salary now i print these sorted employees i run it okay so employee are sorted in descending order by salary maximum salary is on the top and lowest salary on the bottom okay let's see the next example okay now we see how do you perform a join in link using lambda expression let's take a sample list of customers and sample list of orders now we write link query to join customer with their orders create a variable customer orders i write the customer collection dot join in join i take the second collection of orders join method is used to merge these two collections based on a matching key here are matching keys customer id i mean this customer id uh, matching key exist in both classes i take the customer as a first collection now we take our second collection which we need to join with the customers based upon matching key we take orders now we write the key selector for the first collection i mean matching key for the first collection now we write the key selector for the second collection now we write the result selector in result selector we take the object of the first collection which is customer and then object of the second collection take the new operator and after the new operator we will write the properties we want to return in the result set i mean it will define the shape of the result for each match for example here we want to return customer name and order amount customer name from customer collection and order amount from order collection let's print it okay i run it first customer is allies with id 1 and in order collection we have customer id 1 with amount 300 and which is printed here and similarly second customer is also printed with the order amount okay let's see the next example now we need to find the top 10 elements here we can use our previous example in our list we have only three elements so let's take top two elements from this list we need to take top two elements with the top salaries so we already have sorted employee query where we are doing order by descending or we're getting the maximum salary on the top we write query we use take function and we need two records so we pass so we pass two value to it okay so let's print this query okay it has printed two employee with the top salary let's see the next example okay we need to find name starting with letter a i mean it's a very simple query so, so let's take an array of names i take a variable name start with a i say names reply pair filter and i use start with function here let's print it i run it okay so we got the result set so let's move to the next example now we need to calculate the total amount spent by each customer we again use same list of customers and order so to calculate the total amount spent by each customer uh, i take a variable like uh, spent by customer i take customer list dot select we are using the select method to project or transform each customer into a new object containing uh, the properties uh, like customer name and total spent here we group orders by customer id by applying customer id filter and calculate the total spending of each customer by applying some method okay okay we print it let's execute okay so we are getting to total amount spent by each customer here let's see the next example okay now we will see how do you calculate aggregates like some average account uh, using link i declare an array like where i declare the variable average rate then rate dot average that's it and if i want to take uh, count so i just say so i print it okay we got the average as well as the count of the array let's see the next example okay now we need to find the most expensive product for that we use previous sample list of products i declare variable most expensive product i use product list i take product list then i start it order by descending and i use the property of price to start by descending so we sort products by price in descending order and take the first element to find the most expensive product i print it to verify i execute okay the most expensive product is laptop with price 1200 okay let's see the next example okay in this query we need to get list of employee with their salaries so we will use previous sample list of employee and i declare a variable like where employee salaries employee list dot select in inside select method we select some specific property like employee name and salary employee name and salary print it execute we got the employees with their salary remember this query extract the name and salary properties from each employee object in the employees 
collection and using the select method it projects or transform each employee uh, object into a new anonymous object containing just their name and salary let's see the next query okay in this query we need to return an array with the square of all elements in the array okay, so we declare a sample array like where is numbers where square numbers so we write numbers array dot select lambda operator dot to array numbers array is declared so we make it numbers array this query uses the select method to transform each element of the array by multiplying it with itself effectively calculating the square of each number the array method then converts the resulting sequence back into an array i print i print the squared numbers and execute we got array with square of all elements okay let's see the next query okay in this query we need to find all distinct elements in a collection so let's take a sample list we take variable distinct numbers we take our list sample element dot distinct dot two list that's it let's print it okay so we got the distinct or unique number okay let's see the next query okay in this query we need to find the second largest number in an array so let's declare an array i declare variable second largest i use digits array then i sort the elements in descending order when we sort in descending order our largest number will be on the top like 50 and the second largest is 40 we use the skip method in skip we skip the first top element which is 50 and after skipping it take the first element whatever it is and it will be the 40 second largest element let's print it okay we got the second largest element that's it for today these 15 link queries will help you crack your interviews don't forget to like and subscribe the video see you in the next video thanks for watching